Okay guys, I just thought I would show you the layout of the connections on the board. Um, the GPS will come with these these wires like this. Um, red and blue are not used. Uh, see the arrow pointing to the front of the board? Wire it up exactly like I have it. Uh, black on the right, yellow next, white next, green next. These two do not use. Um, this on my DSM2 uh, receiver or the way Spectrum has their channel set up this first uh, it's labeled A8 is throttle so signal side toward the inside here all the signal sides are toward the inside and then this side the signal sides are toward the inside so Signal sides inside on both sides. Uh, throttle, this goes to, on the spectrum, it goes to channel one, because that's the throttle channel. Okay. Uh, A9. T-A-E-R is the setup, so A9 would be just the one wire, single wire. Goes to channel two. Sorry, this is in the way a little bit. So A9 goes to channel 2. That's aileron or roll. Uh, A10. Is the red one. And that goes to channel 3. Which is T-A-E. That would be elevator. And then channel 4 would be the orange and the orange is the rudder or yaw and then rudder or yaw orange that would go on a what's that a11 so a12 13 and 14 are all just auxiliaries and they go on to channel 5 6 and 7 and this allows you to adjust those um, parameters if you watch my other video on the on the um, multi Wii GUI. So we covered that, we covered the GPS, we covered the uh, the wiring to the receiver. Okay, and now these, let me pull up my image on my um, computer. And I'll tell you exactly how to wire your ESCs. This is the front of the uh, quad. Again, there's a big arrow right there pointing front. I like to hot glue my connectors some um, just to to keep them in place. I don't like uh, anything coming loose, especially when you're in the air. So let me minimize. No, I can't minimize that. Let me let me go. To, sorry. I'll go to my folder where I have. Let's see. Okay. Desktop. I'm going to in the file downloads that I I will I uploaded with the uh, the last video or I will upload with the last video. They are right here. MultiPro files all. Go to MultiPro Wii 2.0 images. It shows the receiver connections on there, but also this this is important because this tells you how to wire your motors, your ESCs. So. You're using the quadcopter ESC. Motor 2, is, you want it to spin clockwise, uh, obviously. And the, you're going to wire motor 2. I mean, not motor 2. That shows you the connection port. So, this motor is going to plug. It's this wire right here. It's going to plug into D2. D2. Now, this motor will spin counterclockwise and it will plug into D5 front left D5 now uh, the back motor will spin counterclockwise and that will plug into D6 D6 and this rear right rear motor will uh, plug into D3 and it will spin clockwise. D 
D3. So that's basically the wiring setup. Um, of course you have to, if your motors aren't spinning the right direction, since you want these both spinning this way, I mean opposite directions of each other, counterclockwise, clockwise, you want them spinning in toward the quad. And this one clockwise and counterclockwise. So all you got to do, if they're spinning the wrong direction, you can uh, just, uh, what did I do? Oh, leave the yellow wire alone or leave the signal wire alone. You can just switch the positive and negative around, flip them. You can see I did, what did I do that on? So positive, negative, you just flip them. See, I got positive going to negative here, so that makes uh, that makes it go clockwise. So normally, if you wire them straight up, um, like if you went power, if you went positive to positive, this would spin counterclockwise. It's just the way they're set up. So if you want them to spin clockwise, reverse the the polarity, um, positive to negative negative to positive leave the signal the same yellow to blue that's the signal wire all right guys i really hope you find this video useful um it re i think it really should help you out quite a bit um i'm trying to make this easy as possible for you so thank you for watching